Welcome back, everyone, to the uh, first playthrough of War Sim. And we, ha we are on five years remaining. We started with 25. So let's see. We'll see if uh, we can. Uh, how we can uh, improve ourselves the last five years uh, before. We uh, have to face some uh, demonic uh, activity and whatnot. So, scary times all around. And, well, let's see, we have an eight man tournament going on, so we're going to check that out. But, first, there's 64 people waiting. Alright, now remember, the only one who wants to, you know, go and play a game of chance with us or. Especially that, you know, uh, sudden death game, uh, we, we're just going to take their money and kick them out. So, uh, all right. So, you're visited by a traveling bard. He asks to whistle you an old Norse tune. With the worst musician, I shall play you son. And what is your name, musician? He reveals his name to be Topsy. Have we had Topsy here before? The name sounds familiar. All right, and what are your origins, Topsy? It's gnomes love to whistle when we're mining. It makes the days much more relaxed. All right, I shall listen to your song. It seems like something you can whistle while you uh, work. Alright, so I will say it was a great performance. And. So, let me leave the court. Next person. I, got, I do apologize. Got a little bit of sniffles going on. So, I seem to be kind of at the waiting end of it. So. Hopefully not uh, anything too serious. Uh, let's see. You're visited by a traveling party. He asks, you to sh asks to show you the singing ways of uh, old orcish for the price of 80 gold. I'm a beginner. I shall play you a lengthy song. Alright, well. Let's see. Gruncher reveals his name to be uh, Urku. And. That's Origins, of our Musicians Guild, so come around here so often. Let's see, you well, know, suppose we could pay plus two. I like his lower fig here. It says it's going to be a lengthy song. Alright. So, it was a great performance. And... Let me leave the court. Alright. Hmm. Let's send in the next one. Alright. What do we got? This is my traveling bard. He has to play a song as vampiric loot. Now this video shall play us a lengthy song. And what is his name? His name to be Crentum or Creant. And your origins. The real story of a vampire who likes to play the lute. Right right in uh, write a scroll about it. Hmm. Well, we should listen. Your song. Don't know how I should be feeling about vampires just showing up in my uh, throne room. It's a decent loot, though. Mm -hmm. 
Alright. So bad I'd rather listen to the Dang's, uh, a cat's, a Dang cat squeal for an hour. Alright, I'm gonna say, it was acceptable. And, let me leave. Okay. 61 people. We'll send the next one. Traveling Game Master. British Corner advises you to play a popular tavern game called Sudden Death. Uh, let's see. Yeah. It looks like your gold. Shows a tear from his eye before handing you the gold and walking away. Alright. Okay. Harsh, I know, but, uh, it has to be done. Otherwise, you know, they don't learn anything. They either you just come here and. You know, ask the king to play sudden death. Nope, that is, that's not how this uh, kingdom operates. So, this is by a village elder who says his authority has been ignored by a family. My lord, uh, we have a small secret woodland near the village. This family has moved into the village, we chopping down our sacred trees. Long ago, we gave up our violent ways and became a village of farming and peace. Uh, but now, truth be told, I want to uh, fish out my old sword out of the lake and get the leather. Please help. Hmm. Alright, so. Alright, so. Well, there are sacred trees, and we will attempt to. You know, honor your peaceful ways, violent, with, by, with violent, you know, um, top-down authority. So, anyway, anyways. So, the elder smiles and bows first saying, Blessed is the name Gorbo the Beast Tamer. Thank you. And the next one. This is by Hedge Knight, who says, You turn from a quest for you, brings you a gold uh, plated rotten finger. He found in a ruined carn. There's 70 gold. Well, it's so you, but only because we're desperate. Okay. And. Apologies again for the sniffles. Is by Hedge Knight, he says he's returned from a quest for you, but has achieved nothing. Hey, look, the last guy brought in a finger. Alright, so, and we accepted him, so. Yeah. So the man bows. Uh, to you, Nick. Accepts his official uh, knighthood, seemingly relieved at your response, uh, given the fact that he, he achieved nothing. Okay. Next one. Visited by a traveling bar, he asked to show you the singing ways of old Orkish, price of 15 gold. And a beginner, I should play you a short song. What is your name? His name is Monkhanka. Alright, and what are your origins? All the spots of chief were taken, so I became a grunter instead. Logical. Alright, we'll pay you that. Not sure if that's a third eye. Alright. Alright, great performance. Well, you can go. Alright, with that, we will exit there and we will go. We have a tournament going on, and I will watch the tournament. Eight minute tournament. Alright. So, Relix, the unburdened to the owner of the arena, stands at you with the onlookers that notices you. Ah, cousin, you're just in time. And turns to the crowd. Prepare yourself for the eight minute tournament, a test of might and glory. We've spoken of for generations. Cloud cheers. Alright. Inventory is underway, and the champions from line each present themselves to the crowd. Uh, fighter search follows. The previous grand champion, Gorgo, the Doomslayer Headhunter. Let's see, second champion, 
Kisper, Edinson, Three Drake, Tobinson, let's see, Balder, Constantinson, uh, five is uh, Gunther, the accident prone, six, Ogle, the head hit, hitter, um, uh, Pascal, Dearmonson, and eight, Wigglover, the Bane of Vampires. This is yes, I'm at like eight gold. Yeah, and the Bane of Vampires. Yeah. But, you know, pretty lame bet, but, you know, it's the king's bet, so. Alright. Okay. Google the, the Doom Slayer Headhunter swings for Casper Edison but misses wide. Alright. So then gets a light hit on Edison. It's in gets a fantastic strike. Uh let's see. Doom Slayer kicks Casper uh backwards. Uh but uh then the two of them get caught in a parry. Let's see. And Casper Edison is defeated and eliminated from the tournament. The crowd roars. Alright. Next up, Drake vs. Baldar. Alright. So, Drake uh, rushes you know, off first, uh, getting a fantastic straight on Baldar. Uh, and then uh, he gets lucky with the well placed strike on him. And without even getting to, you know, connect himself, Alder Constantinson is defeated and eliminated from the tournament. Crap, words, and chance. Alright, so. Gunther the Excellent Prune versus Ogle the Head Hitter. Ogle the Head Hitter gets a good hunt of the Excellent Prone. But uh, then Gunther uh, Craig's hit her on his head. Uh, head her kicks the Gunther over. Uh, Ogle blocks a swift blow from uh, Gunther. Ogle uh, gets a light hit on Gunther. Uh, Ogle gets a fantastic strike on Gunther. Uh, Ogle the head hunter blocks the hit from Gunther. Uh, Gunther is defeated and eliminated from the tournament. Alright. Alright. Let's see. So, for Pascal uh, versus Wiggler. Crowd uh, chants near unison when the fires emerge from the gates. Alright. Wiggler swings at Pascal but misses wide. Uh, Pascal gets a lucky, well-placed strike on Wiggler. Wiggler gets a hit, hit by a fireball blast by a warlock in the crowd. Oh, boy. Uh, Pascal uh, kicks uh, Wiggler backwards. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's see. Wiggler, being a vampire, gets hit light. Gets a light hit on Pascal. Uh, Wiggler and Pascal caught a parry. Wiggler manages to break the parry and get a good hit. Pascal almost loses his footing, but for a moment remains steady. Uh, Pascal gets a light a hit on Wiggler. Wiggler and Pascal caught a parry, but break it. Pascal swings to Wiggler, uh, but misses only slightly. Pascal blocks and hits Wiggler. Wiggler and Pascal get caught uh, in a parry. Wiggler manages to break the parry and get a good hit. Uh, Pascal gets a good hit on Raw Wiggler. Let's see, Pascal loses his food for a moment but remains standing. Uh, Pascal uh, sued for Wiggler, but the uh, Bane of Empires. Let's see, miss him slightly. Card cheers for Pascal. This is for the section taking some time here. Wiggler uh, strikes Pascal on the head with great force. 
We go against the elite hit on Pascal. We go to Craig's Pascal on the head. Uh, we go to the beat of his uh, Craig's Pascal on the head. Pascal is defeated and eliminated from the show with the crowd. Wars, cheers for regular beta vampires. Alright. So, first round done. Next up. Alright. So, Gorgol vs. Drake. Drake gets a fantastic strike. Gorgol right out of the bat. Gorgol uh, gets a fantastic strike in return. Gorgol uh, gets smashed by a bottle thrown from the crowd. And let's see. Gorgol kicks Drake backwards. Gorgol gets hit by. gets a good hit on Drake. Gorgol gets a critical strike on Drake. Drake is defeated and eliminated. So, Ogol versus Wiggler. Right. Ogol gets a good hit on Wiggler, being a vicious. Uh, crowd cheers loudly for Ogol. Something's beeping. One moment. All right, welcome back. Um, apparently, my PS4 decided that it really wanted to turn on and really wanted uh, to eject a disc. So um, I helped it uh, finish its lifelong dream and uh, told it to go to bed. So um, hopefully, it follows those directions. Yeah, we're ready to really leave off with. Uh, we were in the middle of an uh, eight-man tournament. Oracle, uh Headhunter versus uh, Wiggler Bane of Vampires. Wiggler Bane of Vampires blocks hit by Oracle. And then uh, gets a light hit on Oracle. Uh, and then kicks Oracle. And gets a fantastic strike on Oracle. But then Orgel gets a stri fantastic strike back. Wiggler swings for Orgel but misses a bide. Orgel cracks Wiggler on the head. Uh, Wiggler and Orgel get caught in a parry. Break it. Wiggler gets a good strike in Orgel and another one. And then gets hit by an arrow shot from the crowd. Uh, almost loses his footing but remains standing. Uh, Orgel kicks Wiggler. Uh, uh, over, uh, and, uh, Wiggler falls lifeless from the kick, and Wiggler being a vampire is defeated. I had money on you, dude. Yeah, how can you disappoint your king like that? Alright. Alright, so, and uh, Gorgol versus Agol. Alright. Uggle uh, blocks the swift blow from Gorgol and almost loses his footing but remains standing, but then blocks another uh, blow. Crowd cheers for Gorgol, the Doom Slayer Headhunter. We just talked about that. So, PlayStation, you better not be beeping again. Orgol gets a fantastic strike on Gorgol. And Gorgol gets some fantastic strike on Orgol. Uh, Gorgol, uh, let's see, Orgol, he caught a parry. Gorgol manages to break the parry and get it in a good hit. Gorgol uh, gets a light hit on Orgol. Uh, Uggle, uh, 
Blacks is soft below. Uh, Gorgul uh, almost loses his footing but remains standing. And Orgul then kicks Gorgul. Uh, let's see, Orgul swings for Gorgul but misses wide. Uh, Gorgul uh, blacks his hit. Orgul swings but misses wide. Uh, Orgul, uh, Gorgul gets caught in a parry. Uh, Orgul manages to break the parry and get in a good hit. Uh, Ogle, uh, the hitter hits a, gets a fantastic strike on Ogle gets a light hit, uh, Ogle kicks, uh, Gorgul backwards, Ogle almost loses his footing, but remains standing, Ogle swings, uh, but misses. Gorgul and Ogle, another parry, so, Ogle, uh, cracks Gorgul on the head, Gorgul gets a fantastic strike on Ogle. Uh, Gorgul Doom Slayer Headhunter swings for Orgul, but misses only slightly. Gorgul almost loses his footing, but remains standing. Gorgul, again, more of a loose footing. Uh, let's see. Orgul kicks Gorgul Hunter over. And then, uh, but Orgul is able to get a light hit despite being kicked over. Gorgul uh, kicks Orgul backwards. Gorgul. Cracks Orgul on the head. Orgul swings but misses slightly. Orgul gets a fantastic strike. And finally, Orgul is defeated and eliminated from the tournament. Alright. And the tournament has come to an end. And by the grace of the gods, the winner and still grand champion for Azlona is Gorgul the Duma Slayer Headhunter. Uh, fortunately, the fire you bet on has been killed in the tournament. You have not won any gold for my bet. Alright, well, that is disappointing. But... Not, uh... Un surprising, I guess we could say. No! Well, I dropped my mouse. So, uh, it's gone. So... Okay, that right there is. Uh, I uploaded a video earlier, and that is all the tags that I used uh, in it. So. And. So apparently those are still. Uh, those are still uh, copied on my computer. Alright, with that, we are going to go back to the throne arrow and send in another visitor. We got a bunch of them to go through. This is about an unemployed farmhand who has inherited a vial of demon's blood from a distant family member but wishes to give it to you instead. Alright. So we will accept it. Hopefully, we can use it uh, against them in some way. All right, next wizard probably should just be getting rid of that stuff, but this is about a young boy who has been selling mud pies and wishes to, has made a whole gold coin which he wishes to give you. Accept the coin. Accept the coin, not to the dungeon with him. All right. And next wizard. This is about a farmer who says he. The dispute needs to be settled. My neighbor's cows escape into my land, trample my crops, refuses to pay for them. Um, let's see. So, make the neighbor pay for it. Get, tell the farmer to get his land so it won't happen again. Um, have your, force your neighbor to pay for it. Our smiles and says, good, and leaves court. Rumors of your wisdom are spread in public opinion. Alright. This is about an armed man who demands a glorious death fighting for his lana. You are absolutely allowed to do that. So. Alright. Next up. This is about an insane stable hand who dreamt of a golden banana peel and then found it at the base of their bed in the morning. They decided to give it to you instead. Uh, we'll accept that. 
pay attention to that. Traveling Game Master visits Carter and eventually play a popular game called Sun Death. You cast 20 gold per play and the prize is double your 20 gold. He says he plays by Western rules. Well, um, I'm going to force you to give you, me all your gold. I cannot believe this. A robbery in the throne room. So you're going to have to arrest me for it because I won't uh, give it up. Uh, no, I don't seize the gold and throw them out. Bye by me, arrest them. Let's see. And so... Let's see, go, don't seize the gold and throw them out. Alright, what should we do here? Uh, let's see, any suggestions? Remember me, arrest him. And says, please, my family, please stay here away. So, rumors of cruelty spread. Ah, oh, well. Well, we made money. Remain in the throne room. Next up, visit by a traveling bard who asks to show you the old clicking ways. I'm an expert musician. It shall play us a lengthy song. Oh, what is your name, Mr. Musician? Clicker reveals his name to be Lan. And what are your origins? I saw Clicker pass through my village as a boy when I followed his footsteps. Alright. So I shall listen to your song. Clicker prepares to play for you. Alright. It is a lengthy song. Alright. So, that was a great performance. And, you may leave the court. Alright, so let's see. With 47 people, we will cut one more of that. You're visited by a young boy who has been sleeping with pies. I accept this coin and they come. And let's see. Um, call me of the council. Let's see. Is there any updates on the demons? Hey, a bad demon. Hey, uh, 15 truths for each demon. That still nearly failed. So, again, lots of troops. African demon shield. Yeah, I finally found that, and it is expensive. Let's see. Only well, very little I can think of because the demon is terrifying. Make sure to increase territorial holdings and public opinion. Attract as many people as you can to your throne room. I'm willing to join you. Alright, so pretty much just keep doing what I'm doing. I probably could have just got a couple more. People out here, if it's my young boy, you found a coin in a pile of hay, so we'll accept it. Thank you. And if it's by an old retired knight, my king, I seek a quest worthy of me. You are allowed to quest. Alright, All right, let's see what we got. Next one in. Is my hedge knight said he returned from a quest for you. Uh, he was approaching uh, 
approached by a newly formed gang of bandits, one of uh, uh, agreed to the huge client and uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Okay. I'm awake, I swear. Alright. Uh, you by Hedge Knight, he has returned from his quest for you and was approached by a newly formed gang of bandits from one of the villages, a single slap. And they started talking to you, and the villager boys have agreed uh, to call their dreams a banner tree before once they begin. Alright, so. I'll accept you. And then into my army. This bad treasurer is one of the better with a wealthy treasurer and has about half his winnings as a gift. I'll accept that. Let's see, so from there, you're going to the troop and hire and the goblins we got. Alright. Okay. Snag all those. All right. And let's see, higher peasants. We got the goblins. Um, our soldiers. We'll consider all this here in a little bit. Alright. And what are we looking for here? Quick back into the throat room. 44 more people. Let's knock out a couple of those. This is my traveling party. I see Whistle and Old Numbers 2 for price of 144. And you're too selfie novice. Okay. So, what is your name? So, we gonna be blank. And you already have a court. Bard, uh, apparently called Ruler the Bard. If you hire a new Bard uh, for your current one, um, the current one will be fired and uh, individual. Let's see. So, I think he will work for 18 gold and tell us each. Skill levels uh, with the budget is supposed to be. Okay. We shall return. Yeah, 144 is a lot. We have been upping the musicians' guild, so we leave. Okay, next one is a man who claims to be a famous silk weaver. He looks into a bag and pulls up what can be only uh, referred to as a magical cloth. Can be seen uh, anything but always uh, reaching out. Uh, looking to okay, where were we? This big sack pulls out what he says a magical cloak. You can't believe you can't see anything, but he shows you the cloak is very real and uh, invincible. 
L and indivisible only for those who pay the great uh, money over a budget to the stream. Alright, so. I'm going to be here. So, come on, read this fast because I am fading. Which, you know, 1 30 in the morning. I tend to do. Alright, so visit by a young boy who fought a coin. I will accept your coin. Visit by a wise man who says he has some advice. I shall listen to it. I like the other wishing world contains a minuscule amount of magical letters. <laughs> You may go. All right. Next up is about an old hag who claims when your soldiers stole a magic apple from her, she demands payment. If you place it, she were to die consequences. Right, well, I can kill her or I can pay what she wants. I will pay what she wants. Mm, there's a speech. Alright, she has a little oh, top to bottom slid uh, iris uh, pupils there. Is by morbidly, morbidly obese blacksmith who enters the throne room flustered with five uh, flustered with five boys. Ooh, he says these no good little uh, people have been eating my food, wasting my time at the farm. Uh, for that, to know that they are uh, let's see. Piece of gold, yeah. All right. Since this is a traveling bird, I want to do this. I do this, you know, like one thirty in the morning. I don't know. <laughs> I know exactly because this is when I have time alone to uh, record stuff. All right, so, so stay hydrated. All right, so traveling bright ass boy. So this loop, we shall. This shouldn't listen to your son.
Alright, so it's good performance and let me leave. Alright. Thirty seven people well you did say please, so I shall give you something. See, it is my man who says he's the my brother is sent to be executed in your prison and he begs you to free him. Alright. And then, said so I brought a scroll and quote right out of this meeting. I see there's no point in remembering it. Uh, he then balls up the shield and throws it on the floor before the end. Alright. So, with that, we shall back out here. And. Any mercenary companies within a reasonable budget? So we will explore the realm a bit and start with the northern lands. Ruins of the fort shouldn't be anything there. Excellent. Three, the black market. Ooh. We're busting with all kinds of shady activities. Please sit straight. Where are services? Better tray lobby. Um, go to our favorite slums and attempt to hire some of them. Get a total of 16 people. Alright, so. Get more locals hired. Excellent. Anything here of note? Not really. I could go try to hire the pit uh, master. Alright. And. Alright. And punch, punch, and punching back and forth. Very visceral sounding. Would the winner like to be one of my champions? I will pay to hire him on. Alright. Alright, let's see. So. He's out of there, and we'll go to the central district. And let's see. This family wants to join. Let's see, what should we do here in the city? Let's see, visit the others. Let's see, we will join you. Alright. 
before I exit, I should you exit. I didn't read the promos there. Is but yeah. We're going to that see we'll leave at this point. And let's see if you get Fort North Watch. Let's see. And Broad Pit. Have we been to the Broad Pit recently? Alright, let's see. Watch a fight, better fight, speak to the patron of the pit. He doesn't want to be bothered. Let's see. That's a lot of fun. Actually, thick one tavern. So you have a drink. Talk to the bartender. Hire some bandits. Yes. All right. Try to hire some more. Okay, so two into the east. It's the eastern tree post. I don't think there's a whole lot going on with that. Let's see, runes. Let's see, six. We'll check in on our fort. It's 52. Four soldiers. Let's see. Trouble, Rooms of the Girl. Anything of note here? The artifact. Alright. 
let's see, second one. These are the Bjorn's artifacts, Eastern artifacts. Yeah. And three. And it's true. Think about how it's all gonna line up. Lands. Let's see. It's the militia watch time. I'm just kind of ask them what they've seen lately. Explore a bit. Water around, fine. Already go before my source presence. They're finding it. They're finding it. So they're stuck towards me. For masterless peasants, their leaders stop. Or it says that he and his men are willing to join you. Realize the twelve gold piece. Oh, I
Alright. Let's see what the good procedure makes. Alright, uh, I need to wrap this up because I am fading in. Alright. So, you know what you want to uh, see me uh, prep for? I'm usually pretty good about that. Uh, yeah. First, that is uncomfortably warm. Our place is full of dry docks. So, for Poland, three four officials from Poland, 43 soldiers there. Right, so, we are going to explore and explore some more. Yeah, burn the village ruins. So, is there a way I can actually go back? Um, I mean, not that, you know, doing it early, but I did want to clear out that, uh, speech here. I should have speech by one of my lords, rallies the men, they go restless, waiting for a fight. Yes, we are. 
At the point, we are going to attack King of Iraq. Take the pure scouts. Set the new bandits. Alright, invade. Now, let's see. I will choose myself. How many peasants? None. How many soldiers? None. How many knights? One, how many bandits? All of them. How many gun troubles? All of them. Berserkers, one, six, seven, nine. All of them. Serve. I'm not you. Not you. Yeah. All right. So arrive at uh, Eric's territory. I prepare for battle. That will soon take place. Spot strange key with markings and bows laid around it. The enemy charges and the battle begins. Alright, so uh, some knights, uh, two tribal, three tribal weapons. Alright, I received word that Eric has marched on us. Uh, do you want to see the battle or can you read the results? Yes, I want to watch the battle. A little heavier. So a couple of soldiers, a couple of soldiers. And we're attacking out like warlords. So I lost 18 of their 75. Alright, not uh, horrible. Blood clan of barbaric uh, short focus folk wants to assault against us. Uh, let's, yes, it's. Let's just send 21 troops and yeah, one troop from Fort uh, Gorthmik to assist. Yeah, so he's still going. Alright, yep. Yeah, so, so, soldier, two soldiers, you four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep. All right, and a couple of our soldiers have died valiantly protecting our lands. Let's see, you've 303 gold for 25 lands. Uh, let's see, you get 50. Our caravans give us 5,900, it's 118 soldiers, nine peasants uh, from the slum joined us. Let's see, so it's 100, uh, 1,975 gold in arena profits, uh, 413 gold for the Green Skin Mining Company. Uh, let's see, 16 soldiers from Fort Gorthrick, six from Fort Northwatch. Uh, let's see, earned 756 gold in interest. Uh, 529 gambling, gambling tax, 11,974 in general, almost 1,500 in tributes, let's see, 69 in change from uh, the black market levy, uh, let's see, my band is pillaged 560, 168 for 144 and 84 from various uh, neighbors. That we dislike. We have 22 free outlaws enlisted, 32 peasants, or trading a soldier. Uh, let's see. Paid 50 to wages to diplomat, 53 to our jester, 95 to our general, 160 to our steward, 33 to our musician. 
Let's see, paid 8,600 change to soldiers, 600 wages to uh, those scarcing the white market, 153 wages to knights. So we expended just over 10,000 and just made over 2,600. Spy reports, King of Iraq, listed 12, 11 tribes for reserves and two warlords from their two remaining lands. Let's see. They sent eight evil signs from the evil sign free city, 93 gold on uh, tribute, on, and we were sent 125 tormented forest orglings uh, from uh, our vassal and 206 gold in tribute. Someone invaded Lands of Eric. Eric attempted to raid Lands of Snow, but it was unsuccessful. Uh, both lands fought a skirmish with the Sloma. Uh, let's see, Evil Sad Free City defeated uh, the deformed Rither Master of Gek in a skirmish. The Oaken Chieftain raided the Lands of Eric. And Elf uh, of Batana defeated the Gorgul, the Dukes, their head uh, headhunter. All right, so won the tournament and lost immediately thereafter. All right, so with that, let's see. We're going to save our game. It's still the first playthrough. Yeah. So I hope uh, you enjoyed, and uh, we shall catch you guys. So next time. Hopefully we'll have a little bit uh, more coherence. Uh, have a great night.